Hi Jurassic Kitties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw Chase from Paw Patrol. So let's get started. To draw this cute German Shepherd, we're going to first start by drawing its eyes. So I'm going to come here and draw a circle. And I'm going to draw another circle. Just kind of leave a little bit of space for the nose. So I'm going to come around about right here and start the other circle. And from there, let's come inside this circle and draw another circle. So it's going to sit really close to the bottom. There, and that same thing on this side. Okay, so let's make these draw so cute eyes. I'm going to come in here with two small circles for highlights and a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. And the lines at the bottom. Same thing over here. There we have our eyes in. So then now let's come between the eyes and we're going to draw the big Gemmer Shepherd nose. So come about in this area right between and we're just going to draw a curve. Right in the middle. And then let's just bring it down, curve it down a little bit. And then we're just going to continue to add a deep curve towards the center, flatten out towards the bottom and bring it right back up and connect it. And then let's just go ahead and shade this in. So I'm just going to add a little highlight right here. So just a little oval so it's easier to see and I'll shade this in. There, big German Shepherd nose. And from there, let's come to the center. So about right here, draw a straight line down about that much and then we're going to add his smile. So I'm just going to start about right here and go all the way across. So about right here I'll start, flatten out towards the bottom and go up and we're going to come back here and cap it off. There. Okay, so now we have that part in. Let's come up above his eye right here. Um, well, right here, I'm going to draw his brow. So it's just a curve and another curve to thicken it. And same thing over here. I'm just going to go ahead and shade that in. So now that we have um, the eyes and the nose and the mouth in, let's come back and draw his face. So I'm going to come kind of where the eyes are. I'm going to start. So about right here, come out a little bit. I'm going to start to draw his face. I'm going to come down with a slight slant. And let's do the same thing on this side. Slowly build his face. And let's continue right here. We're going to start to bring it in. Close to where his mouth is. And so then about right there, I'm going to start to angle a little bit more. And then just bring it down with a curve for his neck area. So about there. Then let's come back up and we're going to finish off his face right here. So it's come about right here and we're just going to curve it in. So kind of near his brow, we're going to curve this in. Same thing over here. So about right here, I'll start to curve it in. And then let's come about right here now that this is, and this point right here is pretty much even, we're going to draw the cap. So I'm just going to add a little curve right there and draw the rim of our cap all the way across to this side. So then let's come and finish this rim right here. So just curve it in and connect it. A soft curve on top. Wow. 
Okay, so then let's go ahead and finish this cap. So right here, we're going to add an angle line on both sides. Right there. And then just connect it with a big curve. So towards the center is going to be our highest. So about right there, and then I'm going to start to come down. And let's add a detail. We're going to come right here and add a band, there's a yellow band right here. And then he has that badge on top. So I'm going to come to the center right here, following my curve right in the center, and we're going to draw the badge. So I'm going to simplify this badge, it's two curves, and we're going to bring it to the center. I'm just going to give myself a point and connect it. And let's come in here very lightly. I'm going to add a little trim for our badge. Ah, <laughs> it's so small. And then the little paw logo. So right here, just draw an oval to simplify it. And then three ovals there. Okay, now let's go ahead and draw the ears. So I'm going to come from this point right here where it starts to curve and I'm going to go up for these big German Shepherd ears. I'm going to go all the way up uh, to about right there. Round off the tip and bring it back down. Let's come in here and draw the inside of the ear. So I'm going to come really close to the edge. And then this part's going to come about right here and just connect it. So let's do the same thing here. So it's all about right here where we started. And we're going to end about right there. So I'm going to drag this point across so I know about how high. So about right, let's just say here. Go towards our point, round it off. And we're aimed back down to here. And once again, the same thing, let's draw the inside of the ear. There. It's a little bit curvier. Okay, so we have the ears in now. Um, let's draw the markings right here so make it look like a German Shepherd. It looks kind of weird right now, right? So right here on top of the nose, we're going to Draw a curve on both sides, so it's nice and even. And we're going to bring it all the way up. We're going to kind of straighten it up a little bit and curve it up. So it's the same thing here. Straighten it out a little bit and start to curve. There. And then he has. Um, the whisker marks right here, the points. I'm not going to do that with a sharp because it's too dark. So when you're coloring it, just use some dark brown. And then last for his face, let's come in here and we're going to give him his um, some dark brown right here on the edge. So I'm going to come about right here, kind of end where his eyes are and then give it a little curve out for his cheek. So same thing over here. We can add some color to his face. So right there where his eyes are and then come down for his cheeks. There. Okay, so now we're finally done with this head and now let's finally connect this. This neck area, connect it with a curve. And let's draw his collar. So we're going to come down right here, add two angle lines. Everything is nice and um, centered. Makes it a lot easier to draw. And then a straight line. We come in here with two lines right here. And now let's try to, um, let's start to draw his jacket. So we're going to come out from this point, bring down a curve on both sides. And then, uh, say about right there, I'm going to bring this in to about right there. Bring this in, and then about right there was where his, well, doggy armpits are, <laughs> and then we're going to go straight down, 
on both sides. There. Then I think I'm going to add a little cuff right here. So just come out a little bit more on this jacket. A little detail in this jacket. And then let's just bring his um, front legs in. So right here, just come down. From there, let's go ahead and connect um, with a curve. So about right there, I'm going to start with a curve for his paw. So let's bring this down. Nice big paw and then just connect it. Round off the corners and then come in here with two curves. So same thing over here. So it's about the same level. Bring this down a little bit more. And then once again, connect it with a curve. About the same level. And two curves. There we have his paw in. Then let's come in between the paw and we're just going to connect it with a curve right here. And then let's draw his um, back legs. So in this area right here, we're going to add a curve slants down and then bring it in a little bit so towards this corner right here and then add another curve for his back paws so same thing over here right there angle it down and bring it in and add his back paw on this side just like the other side There. Now let's um, draw some details on his jacket. We're going to come right underneath this collar and we're going to draw the, uh, the other badge. So we're going to come right here with two curves. Once again, aiming for the center, so I'll come about right here and connect with a curve. And once again, let's come in here and give it a little edge. If I'm going too fast, please pause the video. I hope I'm not <laughs> making it easy for you to follow along. And then let's come in here and we're going to draw the star. So I'm going to start with my first center angle and then we're going to draw five of them. So one, two, and the bottom ones. They're all going towards the center. And then let's draw a little zipper right here. So straight down the middle. And you can just add some horizontal lines all the way across. Oh, and I almost forgot the little accessory right here on top of his um, jacket. So there, hope you love how Chase turned out from Paw Patrol and I inspired you to give it a try. Thanks so much for watching and if you loved it, please give me a thumbs up and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Jurassic Cute videos. See you later.